Kia ora guys, welcome back to New Zealand. Bit of a road trip again, just overnight. Coming to a place called Lake Tutera. Now, when I arrived, I've been working all day, so when I arrived, it was just getting on sort of sundown. Uh, I managed to get the last, I jumped out of the van and, and sort of ripped into a couple of photographs real quick. I got the last bit of, uh, the last bit of sunlight on the, on the big hill at the back of the lake. Just down this track here, there's a little freedom camping site and that's where I'm gonna base myself tonight. Set the alarm early in the morning, which doesn't have to be too early because our clocks have just changed. We've sprung forward. I'm gonna get up and walk up that there hill, up that there hill behind me. And that's called, they call it Table Mountain and it's quite a big walk all the way around the, around the top and around the ridge. Beautiful, stunning views of the, uh, of the lake. I've shot this before and I'll put a link above the last time I shot this place last year and it was 30 odd degrees and we climbed it in the high today and it was oh, it was hard work I was I was just absolutely teeming uh, didn't make any great photographs all right guys so uh, that's it for now Kaki turn up see you in the morning guys after an early start did this walk which is called Peter's walk it's around about two hours an hour to get to the summit and about an hour across the tops and back down so it's, it's quite an easy walk uh, dawn and the little bit of sunrise we got was absolutely beautiful uh, I managed to pull up a couple of places get a few photographs and then I pushed on to the top now there's a big bank of cloud out to the ocean out to the east and that's going to stop any light getting to the lake behind me. Uh, I'm not in a major rush. We just had a, a little bit of light come through and it just absolutely illuminated the hills, the, the greens, the browns, everything was just standing out beautifully. Uh, unfortunately, that's, that's gone for the moment. Uh, but this, this cloud will clear and when it does, 
I'm gonna be ready. I'll be, I will be ready. All right, guys, uh, for now, I'm gonna carry on walking. So guys, this is the top. This is as high as you can go on this little uh, little walk. Absolutely stunning, loving it. Over there, the other side of the lake, it forms part of the Mongharuru range, mountain range. Quite a stunning little area. Likewise, we've got quite a lot of cloud on the horizon there. And it's not moving. If you look real close, you can actually see my house from here. Alright guys, I'm getting off this rock. It's a long drop. Hell of a long drop. So guys, that light killing me. It's not playing ball. I'm down at the southern end of the lakes. And the plan is, because there's no light, obviously, yet. Maybe a slither of hope, maybe. I found a nice little shot from south to north running along the lakes with the uh, with the mountain range in the mountain range in the background and I'm thinking I'll take a shot anyway no light but I'll take a shot anyway and convert that to black and white and I think I'll make quite a nice shot and quite defined clouds above the lake and uh, and I think they'll kind of convert quite nicely to black and white we'll make it quite a quite a dramatic shot I think and we'll uh, we'll have to make do with that conditions have beaten me on this one uh, but I've got the shots from this morning. I've got the shots from last night and the shots from this morning that I'm really happy with. So uh, all's not lost. And I've had a cracking walk. And my new boots, my new hiking boots, have been absolutely superb. What a difference. What a difference decent boots make. Jeez, I've crippled myself for years and years and years working the mother bloody things. But now I've got some decent gear. No stopping me. All right, guys. Uh, I'll take this shot. And I'm going to wander back down to the van get some breakfast, get a coffee, assess what's going on with the light and uh, maybe call that a video. And would you believe, I've just got back in the van, absolutely starving. And uh, the first crack of light has come through. Fantastic, eh? Unbelievable. 10 a.m. and we've got the first slither of light. But I'm back in the van, I'm absolutely starving. So it's a case of uh, porridge, a big dollop of honey, a nice coffee, recharge the old battery on the phone, and then I'm going back up that hill because you've got some clear skies coming over and, uh, and I'm pretty sure, even though it's getting towards not the greatest part of the day to be taking photographs, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a beautiful shot with some decent light on that scene. In the meantime, breakfast time. Right, right, I'm back up top. Uh, hope it's worth it. I've enjoyed it, no matter what. Light on, all light. I've enjoyed it. There's one bit of, there's one bit of, there's one gap in the clouds there. As you can see over my shoulder, it's casting a little bit of light on the far hills. But I don't think it's going to get to where I want it to be. Uh, I had my opportunity about oh, an hour and a half ago. The light came and just buggered off as fast as it arrived. 
So I missed it. It's just gonna be one of them days. I think it's a day for walking. A day for relaxing. As relaxing as I believe walking the hills gets. You never know, you never know. You never know, I might get lucky. I may have a nice panorama from just now. But the lights, ah man, frustrating. But good walk, that's the main thing. Thank you.